It all started with an umbrella. In the early 2000s, Derek Watkins famously became known as Farnsworth Bentley, a play on the character Bootney Lee Farnsworth from the 1975 film Let's Do It Again, and assumed the role of an umbrella-toting full-time butler for multi-million dollar producer Sean Diddy Combs. It didn't take long for Bentley to grow his own brand and build a name for himself in television, music, and even literature. And while he may have put down the umbrella for greater pursuits, he definitely made his mark on pop culture during his time with Diddy, and made himself a hip-hop topic of conversation for years to come. Bones work! Bring the So how did this all happen? The addition of Bentley to Diddy's entourage and his newfound persona were a result of the rapper needing to clean up his act after he was acquitted of gun possession and bribery charges from a nightclub shootout in 1999. The rebranding included Combs going by both Puff Daddy and P. Diddy, a whole new wardrobe, and the inclusion of Bentley, the then 27-year-old Atlanta native. In 2003, Fonsworth Bentley made his grand appearance next to P. Diddy in season two of Making the Band. At first, the tall, dapper personal assistant made everyone question what exactly was happening. But soon enough, Bentley became a pivotal part of getting the potential hip-hop stars in line and ready to appear as distinguished gentlemen. The man formerly known as Derek slowly rose to fame as more and more hip-hop elites wanted to learn from his high level of style, fashion, and upper tier of sophistication. Thanks to his wealth of knowledge, Bentley went on to pen an etiquette book in 2007 titled Advance Your Swagger, How to Use Manners, Confidence, and Style to Get Ahead. And the former valet even went on to land his own MTV reality show in 2008, From G's to Gents, where he taught wayward men the ways of being gentlemen. By the time he snagged his own reality show, it was clear that Bentley's umbrella-carrying days were long gone. In fact, he went on to work with the likes of Kanye West, Gucci Mane, Andre 3000, The Black Eyed Peas, and many more. Fonsworth isn't just a musician, either, as he's appeared in many films over his career. Bentley went from the small screen of reality television and music videos to the big screen, appearing in numerous films. He made his movie debut in 2003 in Honey, alongside Mackay Pfeiffer, playing a barber in Pfeiffer's Barber Shop. You see that guy right there? Yeah. Yeah, I know he has a stupid-looking face and everything, but what's his hair look like? The following year, he had a speaking role as a salesman in Fat Albert, starring Kenan Thompson. Bentley later worked with OutKast in 2006 in the star-studded surrealistic musical Idle Wild, where he voiced the drinking flask of big boy slick-talking character Rooster. In 2017's Think Like a Man 2, the sequel to the movie adaptation of Steve Harvey's controversial book Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, he made a cameo as a well-dressed shot caller. Describing his role, he said, Kevin Hart needs to learn how to pay his bills, and if he don't pay his bills, there are people out here that aren't afraid to talk to him about that. And so that's what my character does in the film. While he hasn't been in the spotlight as often recently, Bentley is still actively working, and working on building a family. Bentley married actress Fawn Chambers in 2010 and had two children, Daniel and Zoe. Professionally, in addition to having writing credits on a few Kanye West albums, including Yeezus and The Life of Pablo, Bentley has also written and produced songs for ABC's hit show Blackish, as well as created choreography for the promotional video for the spin off show Grownish. And while Bentley's far from an umbrella-holding personal assistant these days, he and Diddy still seemingly have a good relationship. In 2019, he wished the mogul a happy birthday and guaranteed an epic celebration worthy of Diddy's 50 years. Over the years, through his debonair cameos in movies, music videos, and TV, Bentley has clearly solidified himself as a leader in giving hip-hop streetwear a flair of sophistication, umbrella or not. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite assistants turned musicians are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.